I just wanted to uh, react to another video here from Brian Lilly, and it's titled Why Trudeau Might Convince Himself to Stick Around, which is interesting, right? Because there's been a lot of talk about uh, Trudeau potentially resigning. So let's have a look at this video and then we'll have a talk about it after. Is Justin Trudeau staying or going? It's an issue we've been debating for months. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. Now, while I've been firmly on the Trudeau's not going anywhere side, Warren Kinsella, fellow columnist here at the Sun, he's been saying Trudeau's going to go. Of course, Warren predicted January, then April, then June, and here we are, Canada Day long weekend. Trudeau is still in charge, but now he's got the the problem of the Toronto St. Paul's by-election hanging over his head. He's got people calling for him to leave, ministers not fully defending him, and now a lot of people behind the scenes saying Trudeau's got to go. So maybe things will change. But as I wrote about in a recent column for The Sun, Trudeau may also be looking around the room and saying, you know what, bad as things are, I'm still the best person to lead the party into the next election. And maybe, just maybe, I'll win more seats than somebody new. Do you think Brian Mulroney would have actually taken the progressive conservatives down to two seats in 1993? No, he would have won more seats than Kim Campbell did. It would have been a better run campaign. Uh, what about when Pierre Trudeau resigned and John Turner took over and took the Liberals down to what was then their, their worst performance? Would, would Pierre Trudeau done, have done better against Brian Mulroney? Most likely. And the same could be true now. So maybe that's why Trudeau's not leaving. But this is going to be a guessing game all summer until we know for sure whether he stays or goes. He either announces during the summer that he's leaving, or if he shows back up in the House of Commons in September leading the government, then we know he's sticking around until the next election. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah, you see, I mean, that's very interesting, right? And I've mentioned this before that, yeah, <clears throat> Trudeau's very unpopular, but that being said, so is everyone else. Mark Carney, Christian Freeland, et cetera, et cetera, did not do very well in the polls, and it still showed that Justin Trudeau is the most popular liberal. Now, that being said, you know, like, what's better for the conservatives, right? Like, if, if Justin Trudeau sticks around, they can just keep hammering Justin Trudeau. Or if it's someone else, you got to kind of start over and go after someone else, do more research. They'll be able to do it. But right now, it's just, it, it, life is on easy mode for Pierre Polyev because you just have the Trudeau's track record to go off. If you can just look at how bad things have gotten in Canada for the past nine years and then point at Trudeau and say, it's your fault. And Canadians, according to every poll right now, are agreeing with Pierre Polyev and that Trudeau is, is extremely unpopular. But so are the alternatives. So if you're the Liberal Party, what's the best way to cause damage control? Because you're not winning it in the next federal election. There's no way. But you want to lose by as little as possible. And right now it's showing that it's going to be a landslide. And that Pierre Polyev is going to get well over 200 uh, votes. Or sorry, 200 ridings. 200 seats for the Conservatives. Okay, so can you restore that or at least get Pierre under 200 seats with Trudeau? I don't think so. But to be fair, I don't think Carney can do it either. I certainly don't believe Christian Freeland or Stephen Kibo or whoever they want to choose. I don't think any of them can do it. So as Brian Lilly said, yeah, it's just a giant guessing game right now. Who is the best option? And I know a lot of liberal people, by the way, and a lot of liberal people who are just average, just average Canadian people, they like Trudeau still. I personally don't understand why, but a lot of people who are liberal supporters do still like Trudeau. His MPs may not like him anymore because they're worried about their jobs, but then again, Mark Carney's not going to save your job. Right? If you're Karina Gould, who you know runs in, who, her current seat is in uh, Burlington, where which is where I grew up, and you know, Mark Carney coming in isn't going to flip Burlington red, right? It's going to go blue like, and it's that's what it's looking like right now and there's nothing the liberals can do to stop it there's just been too much damage that's been done even if the liberals wanted to you know reverse that damage they just don't have enough time not to mention no one believes them in the first place that they would undo the damage or even attempt to we all know that the liberal party has clearly shown that they do not care about the middle class if they did the last nine years would not have went the way it has 
Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you think that Trudeau is going to stay? Or do you think they're just going to replace him with another mini Trudeau? Because that's what the liberal options are. I always enjoy reading your comments. Thanks again so much for watching. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.